Okay, if you guys, just a real quick modification to help you with the homeworks. Um, in terms of how to answer a couple of the homework questions, um, this is just the front page of the notes. I'm just going to slide down here. Um, so if you get a positive number and we have two real solutions, that's still the case with our discriminant, I just want to kind of split those into two categories. So just real quick, I'm just going to add this. So this is going to be two reals. Okay, now, just to help answer the homework questions, if the number, like in my example, is a perfect square, so it has a nice square root, like a 25, a 49, a 36, perfect squares, um, your two real solutions are going to be what we call rational, like a nice number, it can be written as a fraction. The other thing that can happen if you don't have a perfect square any other number that's not a perfect square. So if it doesn't have a nice square root, then if you don't have a perfect square, let me give you like a little example. Like let's say we had 17 or um, I don't know, 23. Those are numbers that are not perfect squares, just as an example. If that happens, your two real solutions will be irrational. And what that means is that if we take the square root, we get kind of a nasty number that can't be written as a fraction. So let me, I'm going to slide the calculator on here and just kind of show you the difference. So if I have a perfect square, let's say we have 49, that gives me a 7. So we'll end up with a rational solution. If I do like one of my examples like 17 or 23, these are not perfect squares. You see that we have like nasty decimals that go on forever. They don't have a pattern. They can't be written as a fraction. Rational is a fancy word for fraction. So in the situation where your discriminant is a perfect square, you're going to have two rational solutions, which means we can write them as a fraction. If it's not a perfect square, you still have two real solutions, but they're going to be kind of nasty decimals like this where you could not write it as a fraction. So just to help you with your homework there.